Metal Up World. This is CJ with CJOrtiz.com and MetalMotivation.com. This is the first of a new five-message series I'm doing on Love is More Than a Feeling. Now, this is all shown in my Life Domination online coaching program, and you can learn more about that if you visit the link below. Love, it is more than a feeling. And I think most people understand that. I think people know that it's, it's, you got to go beyond just feeling something for somebody else. But I think when you expand this topic, and I'm talking about not just in terms of family and loved ones, but even into society in general, it gets a little bit more in depth. And I could argue that what we're dealing with right now when it comes to things like social justice or political upheaval, a lot of it does come down to the meaning of love. A lot of it does come down to how we want other people to feel about certain things. And one thing is for sure, that a man or woman persuaded against their will is always going to be of the same opinion still. You can't change people's opinions necessarily, and that's pretty much what's going on in the world. People are trying to force other people to feel or think certain things. That's where you get into thought police. That's when you get into thought control. You can't make people think certain ways. You can't make them feel certain ways. So how should we feel about one another? Well, what is love? Love is more than a feeling, okay? Love is much, much more than a feeling. Love is action. And again, I think people understand that. I think people understand that love is action. You can't say that you love someone and you treat them so poorly or you are um, you abuse them or you ignore them, anything like that. You can't claim that you love and do certain things or not do certain things. So love is defined or seen in terms of action. But if we look at it that way, if we begin that way, which I think is an important starting point because our usual starting point is to begin with feelings. When we talk about love, we talk about feelings. And we need to keep in mind that we may not understand love as much as we think we do because a lot of our definition and impression about love has been given to us by the last few hundred years of romantic literature, right? I mean, that's where we get these ideas from. You, you, how many romantic comedies have you watched? How many, you know, sitcoms have you watched? How many, thing, how many things have you read that have given you this Western idea of love, which is predominantly something that you either fall in and out of? <laughs> um, either way, it's just a feeling more than it is anything else. Feelings matter, it seems, most well, I would turn that on its head. I would argue that love is first and foremost action. Love is a moral standard, if you will. It's something that we do in order to create an end result. Now, that may sound kind of clinical. Um, I don't mean it to be that way. But when you really look at things for what they are, without the very practical nature of love and acts of love, our world would fall apart. We simply can't do it without action. We can't do it without love. We can't keep this world together without love. Love for each other, just in terms of the neighborly love, citizen love, love for those who are suffering love for our family, love for our significant other, even love for the enemy, whatever that may be. Love is what keeps things together. But in order to do that, it's got to be something much, much more than just a feeling. I think for a lot of us, we instinctively know this, but we get confused about it because, again, we're so bombarded with story and imagery and portrayal that shows love as this I don't know, this overwhelming, controlling emotion that just overtakes one. Again, you fall in love, you fell out of love. Is that you? So you got married because you fell in love and you got divorced because you fell out of love? Is that love? Was it ever love? If love is not anything more than that, that's not something to build this world on. I think love is beyond that. I think we have a better idea of what love is when it comes to the love we have for our children. Because you don't necessarily fall out of love with them. Do you fall in love with them? 
No, it's, there's something much, much different when it comes to children. And the self-sacrificial nature of our love towards kids is a whole different ball game. You know, when it comes to my kids, man, it's just you're, you're so non-negotiable about things. You're so uncompromising about things. You can get some of the shyest people who won't say a word in a meeting, but you touch one of their kids or say something about their kids and they will come unglued. <laughs> it's just something about kids. But we better understand when it comes to our kids that the love is, is predominantly shown in action right? That's how it gets shown. It's demonstrated in action. And I think that's that's sort of the, the premise here of what I'm going to be talking about all this week in this series. Love is more than a feeling. Love is action, right? And we want to better define this. We want to look at it socially. We want to look at our world right now. Let's look at these contemporary political and social issues that we're facing. Let's talk about that. What does love mean in all of that? Because you're never going to get certain groups of people to like or feel good about each other, but can you get them to act justly towards one another? Does it matter if I hate my neighbor? I mean, hate him with all the hatred I could have in my heart. But if I never break the law regarding him, if I never harm him or his property, if I never even step foot on a single blade of grass on his property, Do we have a just and stable society? Yes. Do we ever talk to each other? Nope. Do I still hate him? Yep. So the world goes round, doesn't it? The world still works, even with that animosity and hatred. And I'm using, I don't hate my neighbor, but even, even that much animosity, so long as no action is taken on that, and I respect the law, the justice between me and my neighbor, we have a stable society. But what political and social groups are trying to get you to do is not just do that. They want you to change your feeling about it. That's why it's a manipulative guilt that's being put on people to make you feel bad about who you are in order to change your feelings. No, it's not about feelings, man. It's about action. It's about standard it's about taking care of one another. So we're going to talk about all this week, talking about love for others, you know, love for our kids, love for our significant other, et cetera. And I think when we get through with all this series, I think you're going to have a different view that is going to prompt you to a lot more action in some of these relationships that you have in this life. Can you dig it? I hope you can. So if you'd like to see the rest of these videos, then please join me in my Life Domination online coaching program. It's easy to do. Just visit the link below, metalmotivation.com forward slash Life Domination Coaching. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.